Today we are rebuilding a double card on joint on a 1998 Jeep TJ with a 4 liter and 3 speed automatic. The first thing we got to do is lower the transmission transfer case skid pan in order to get access to the double card on joint. We just did the one side on the driver's side which dropped it down enough that we were able to get our hands in there to remove the bolts for the double card on joint. Yeah. Yeah, front one's too. Not that small. I'm right, just gonna jack up the front end here. That way we could spin the drive shaft, get the other two bolts out, and then we'll remove the ones from the front. Okay, lower it down. Got in position where I want. Well, we got those ones out. Now we'll pop the ones off the front drive shaft and we'll pull them tight. Looks like you got a front seal leak too. Yep, definitely got a seal. Oh, yeah, that's real bad. Yeah. Everybody has their own methods to remove the clips. Here, Fedora is using a pair of pliers to squeeze the clip and then prying them up on the side to pop them out. Almost out. Like a boss. Alright, now I'm gonna push one cup out to the other side, pull the cup off, push the other side off, and free this thing up. only goes so far so you don't want to try to force it through. Yeah I got the cap kind of pushed out but it's kind of wedged in there so we're going to lubricate up this side push it back through lubricate on here and hopefully we should be able to get that cup off because this one here it's not moving with us at all. By lubricating that up, I'll be able to get this cap out really easy. It came out nice. Now I'm going to spray. I sprayed this side. I'm going to push it through since that cap's out. I should be able to push it right out and then pull her out. This one's going to be a little bit harder because of the centering ball there so we won't be able to get the cap out as far as we did on the previous ones.
start assembling, I'm going to put the centering ball in here, remove a couple of caps off the U-joint, put her in there, and then get her ready to stick on there. All I did here was spin by hand to get the cap pushed down that you can get the C-clip back in the groove. Same thing with this side, I'm just turning it by hand. Hopefully get it down enough. Get that last one in. This is the tricky part now, getting this piece on to here and find a way to work. So I'm probably gonna put the yoke in here with the caps loosely and then try to fish that end over get it in place and put all four caps in. I know it's kind of hard to see in the video because I got it all fast forward. So what I did is I basically put all the cups in without putting the clips in to make sure everything fit first. Then once I made sure everything was fitting up, and then I started to put the snap rings in one by one until the whole joint was assembled. This kind of fast forward video, this kind of gives you an idea. Everybody will have their own method on how to do it, their own sequence, but this should give you an idea on how to do this job. Definitely using a ball joint remover tool like I have. Without having that special seat clamp that comes in the ball joint remover kit, Doing this job would be extremely difficult. So if you're gonna do this job, make sure you have that tool at least. Here's the shot of the double card on joint, all rebuilt and ready to install. Get start with the rear one, get it into place, and then use the pry bar to pry that front section in. It's kind of a bitch too. Just tighten up the last of the bolts. Not a lot of room. Now when you replace all your bolts, you should use some blue Loctite to get them all back in. Make sure everything's in there nice and snug. And you should be finished. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.